Welcome to Blackest Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadi. And this is going to be a reading for Capricorn. So, hey, Capricorn, buckle up your seatbelts because it may just be a bumpy ride. All right, now let's get straight into it. Yahweh, I come to your prayers that you open up my third eye for Capricorn. Capricorn want to know what's going on. I do too. Also, any energies or any entities that may be trying to harm me, send them right on back to here where they belong. Ashe. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what's going on. What's going on for Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? All I saw was, these are my confessions. First, and I saw three confessions. First of all, you did somebody may have um a, have had a baby or has a family like a baby mama situation, baby daddy situation that you're not knowing about or that your intuition has been warning you about. It is very much true. Um, also, you have a confession that somebody misses your sex, and you have a confession that somebody also wants a second chance with you. Those are they confessions. <laughs> Especially when it comes to that sex part, baby. If you if you if you if you have been putting out or if you haven't been sexually active with somebody from your past, they even your present, baby, they're fiending for it. Those are their confessions. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what does Capricorn need to know? 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 Oh, uh, mm -hmm. okay. So also keep in mind that, you know, you already know this to be a fact. Your exes were liars. Like they lied to get with you, to keep you. They lied to, uh, they just lied, but mainly to get you and to keep you. But anyway, these same people, the same person, or this, this could be actually several people because you know how Capricorn is, their exes always spawn back again so anyway this is somebody that you have not been talking to or been in contact with for a little minute this could be um an ex or you know just a sneaky link somebody that you once dealt with sexually or in a relationship loving wise um this person is going through a divorce or a breakup and they want to come back your way and they're gonna be lying they like i said this, these people lie to keep you and lie to get you And it's so played out. <laughs> All I heard was Katy Perry, the one that got away. And they don't want that to happen, so they're going to come in and lie. To keep you from further getting away from them, somebody is about to come on back and lie. They're not going to tell the truth. They're going to tell you what you want to hear. Bullshit. Okay. Mm -mm. Let's get you a hidden truth. What's the hidden truth for Capricorn? What's the hidden truth? What's the hidden truth for Capricorn? This is somebody who wished they could take back their words, so they were lying. They always been a liar, and they're gonna always stay a liar. But they kind of wish they told you the truth because you could see right through the bullshit. So it's like, what's the point of even doing it? When you're gonna get called out. This is somebody who also hides behind material things, so. They may appear like they have it going on in life, but honestly, they're struggling to get by just like everybody else. Tell me a truth for Capricorn. What's the hidden truth? And now, it just came out so matter of fact, like, it is what it is. And the thing that you want to know what it is, is the fact that you have to be a lot of people's lesson. See, your karma, good karma or bad karma, either way, is up to you. If you do right by a Capricorn, you get done right by a Capricorn. If you do wrong by a Capricorn, you get done wrong by a Capricorn. There is no in-between. And for this person in particular that you have left behind, that did not take no accountability, that still wants you, still is holding on to you, still hopes that you will forgive them. But this person was a runner. And they know that, they, and they know that you let them go for a reason. Because they truly hid who they truly were. They, they hid who they were. And you started to see who they truly weren't. Which was your person. Mm -hmm. But they want to come on back. 
But like I said, these people who want you back so bad will lie to keep you and lie to get you. Okay, be careful. Be careful because you got somebody who want a second chance because they want to they want to basically give you that give you that um offer that you have that you deserve to begin with a serious offer now they want to come back and give it to you now when you don't want them anymore or you moved on or you're moving on like these people want that old thing back but they're gonna go about it the wrong way still lying still creating illusions just to try to trap you current love for capricorn current love for capricorn current love current love for capricorn current love current love for capricorn current love for capricorn current love okay capricorn you may be currently dealing with somebody who um may have the same religious outlet outlook as you like say if you're spiritual they're spiritual um say if you're christian they're christian but be careful that this person is not doing things behind your back to basically bound you to them using spiritual work and also having their family help them as well. Also be careful of somebody who may be only with you for finances. This person may be playing you as well as let go of control issues so that you can see what's going on. If you let go of control and you step back and see what's going on, you'll see that you're being fooled by somebody who is showing you a bunch of romantic feelings but i really feel like this is a witch a warlock in disguise this is somebody who honestly is in it for themselves is only showing you a lot of love now so that in the future that they can slack up this is somebody who is honestly not your true love you're going to end up separating once you realize who this person truly is and what they truly came for i really feel like this is some spiritual warfare going on like warfare like I feel like this person's a witch and a warlock. Playing in your energy, playing with your energy. And their family might be involved in it as well. Mm -mm. Let's see about new love. Since we already seen separation, you're going to end up seeing what's going on. You're going to cut somebody off. So don't even worry, Capricorn. You're no one's fool. They're going to be the fool. Okay. Mm -hmm. New love for Capricorn. New love. New love for Capricorn. New love for Capricorn. New love. Whoa. New love for Capricorn. At this point, we're going to take it. New love for Capricorn. Yeah. This, yeah, ooh -wee. hold up, oh, hold up, <laughs> this is gonna be good, oh, oh my god, okay, let me make sure I'm not exposing no goodies, all right, first of all, Capricorn, I feel like you may be in some player energy, some very much, you know, about your bag, actual feelings type of energy, but I really feel like in the future, you're gonna be somebody very codependent, and it's going to bring out the codependency within yourself. I feel like this person is going to set you free in a way. Because I feel like you haven't found somebody or been around somebody who truly made you happy. I really feel like you have been getting nothing, nothing, bringing in nothing but relationships with people who lie to keep you. Lie to get you. Show hella love in the beginning. Just to slack up. You run into people who play with your spiritual gifts. They they use their gifts against you to bound you or to keep you from doing stuff and getting stuff. Like you be having your heart and your mind open, but these people don't be worth a love a, a worth a thing. But that's okay though. I'm also seeing that in your future, you're gonna come across somebody who is new love, and they're gonna be the one, and y'all are gonna end up being married. So. Yes, you got a bunch of lessons coming through, especially when it comes to people who are learning about their spiritual gifts and using it for evil. But you also got new love coming in who's going to be serious and is also going to probably be spiritual as well. But I don't really see them using their gifts against you. Mm -hmm. 
let's get you some advice. Give me some advice for Capricorn. 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 Give me some advice. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Some advice. Some advice. Some advice. It hurt a lady. Some advice. Some advice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This advice is regarding your heart. As well as regarding people who are doing magic on you. As well as sex magic on you. In order to keep you from going too far, in order for you not to listen to your intuition, in order you, in order for you to continue to have addictions, in order for you to self down talk, as well as in order for you to keep on allowing yourself to be stuck and stuck and held back by distractions of the world as well as people, and to keep you from finding real love as well as standing in your purpose. Mm -hmm. People want to keep you from finding yourself. They want to also keep you from going within and rebuilding and shedding light on the people that don't need to be in your life. People are really scared of you bringing down the law, like you bringing down the hammer and cutting people off. People are afraid of you, A, doing better, but also doing better with the love of your life. These folks hate it. And the ones that be hating the most be the people that you grew up with. The ones that you loved. People don't want to see you do better than them. They don't want to see you for you, which is high value, creative, pure hearted. People really want to see you go from, people don't want to see you go from lack to having. People don't want to see you believe in yourself. They don't want to see you gain blessings. They just want to see you work hard for the rest of your life. Be manipulated and, and betrayed for the rest of your life. They hate to see you rebuild. They hate to see you grow. But these are the same people who love you so. Oh, child, please. Tell me more for Capricorn. You got some unexpected news coming in. This could be uh, money, or this could be an um, opportunity when it comes to jobs, or um, a creative opportunity, say if you're a model or something, you may have like, you know, a booking. What else does Capricorn need to know? What else does Capricorn need to know? What else does Capricorn need to know? When this person come back around wanting to have a second chance with you, this person who is obsessed with you, this person who is a trickster and about to send you a message, this loser who sees you sitting pretty, handsome, unbothered, who's obsessed with the thought of you, not you, obsessed with what you come with, what you, who you are and who you're becoming. When this person come reaching out to you, don't believe a damn thing they say, I wouldn't even say respond back i would say keep turn a ball turn a ball face keep turn a blind eye i wouldn't no i would say just keep working i feel like you're an earth angel and these people really want to stop an earth angel by telling lies on you trying to trying to ruin your your um reputation also sitting in line making it seem like you're you're an escort and you just be you just be wild and young and free that you lead with lust and Oh, they regret being with you because you did this and you did that. But now people are starting to see that, no, maybe, maybe you're just projecting. And they were. Like I said, some unexpected news is coming in. This could be about an opportunity. This could be about money. And this can also be about somebody who wants to come back around. But when it comes to somebody who wants to, A, come back around and B, back in your space and receive your love put your guard up don't let this person in don't let this person in know that you're powerful and you don't deserve none of this 
You don't deserve nothing from the past back. You deserve something new, something prosperous, and something real. These people from the past are also having anger issues, so I really don't feel like you should even deal with that because this is somebody who would do things just to harm you because they're angry in life. I'm talking to a chosen one. And you just know that your voice is what's going to get you where you need to be in life. So continue to speak your truth. Continue to speak your truth. I don't care how they may feel about it. It's the truth. As well as strengthen your boundaries. Okay. Also calm down when it comes to spending because you may, you may push yourself further in debt or you may fall upon debt if you do not start saving. But also know that the people that want to come back in your life, especially the ones that are not doing too great in life, they want you to come and help them. They want some of your abundant energy because they're in debt. Like your enemies are literally being made into a footstool. And when it comes to this person doing magic on you, this fake spiritualist, these people are going to spiritualists to try to stop a prophet. Because it's your voice. It is your truth that you speak that people don't like. It's the light that you stand in that people don't like. It's the creativity that flows through you that people don't like. It's your energy that people don't like. It's the fact that they know that you will be and deserve to be treated right is what they don't like. When it comes to being sexually active, please use a condom at this time because people are dirty. People will see you doing good in life and also trap you. You have to think smart. Think smart. Also return anything any magic back to the sender because people are trying to throw magic at you to hurt you. And they're watching you to try to see if it's working. So send it back and watch how it hit the ass. Mm -hmm. Also, do you got somebody trying to come back who is a fake gentleman, who is a part-time gentleman, who is desperate? So don't fall for it. Okay? Okay. And also remember that you go through hard lessons to get to your biggest blessings. So don't be sad when things don't go right. Just know that it's your protection. It wasn't for you for a reason. Now let's get you some angel messages and get you up out of here. Give me some angel messages for Capricorn. Some angel messages for Capricorn. Some angel messages for Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Know that you're on the right track and that you can do anything that you put your mind to. Also, at this time, please use your intuition. Follow your intuition. Follow your good because, baby, it never leads you wrong. It never steers you wrong. Know that, that, know that at this time, you have nothing but luck on your side. So put out anything creative, baby, and watch it take off. Also, continue to have that big heart of yours because that is what's going to continue to get you blessed. Continue to grow because those growing... Those growing times, the, the times that you take for yourself to go within and then come back out a better person, that is what's bringing you your new your new blessings and your new beginnings, okay? Also, trust in yourself and your life choices. And don't forget to stand in your power. Up! And always have confidence within yourself because your goals are within reach. And what's going to... What type of goals? The goals that are... Within you, the creative goals like singing, art, things of that nature. Put it out. Start doing it. Okay? And when it comes to this person from the past, just know that they're a sly, sneaky snake. So don't let nobody from the past back. I don't care. Friends, relationships, family. It's a wrap. Once you're done and out of a Capricorn life, you must stay on the other side. And when it comes to money, start saving. Start saving, Capricorn. All right? This was your message. I want to say thank you all for the love and support that y'all show me on the daily, as well as all of the no the, 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 the all of the donations. I want to thank you all for that as well. And if you want to find me on any social media or get your girl on the phone for a personal reading, everything will be in my description box below. Bye, my loves. Mm -hmm.